AstraZeneca and the Ministry of Health have today announced a donation of innovation screening equipment to the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kenyatta National Hospital, the University of Nairobi, and also the Aga Khan University Hospital. The equipment will enable recipient institutions to conduct research on the use of non-invasive technology to predict the risk of hypertension, diabetes, eye conditions, and also other medical conditions through retinal scanning. Here is that report. The World Health Organization estimates that non-communicable diseases account for up to 70% of global deaths. In Kenya, non-communicable diseases account for 39% of deaths. Though the statistics date back to 2015, there are concerns that the numbers could be much higher. The government is partnering with development partners to manage the obtaining situation by collecting data through research. Within every facility, health center, dispensary, the, uh, the county hospitals and so on, there is so much data generated. We generate a lot from our system in Ampath. And I think one of the challenges we have is that the use of that data is a problem. We are living in unprecedented times and we have seen through the pandemic how working together with non-traditional actors by working not in silos but together how we can accelerate perhaps cut through the 60 years but make things happen quicker for the focus of our patients. Traditionally, hypertension, commonly known as high blood pressure, is screened by using a blood pressure measuring device attached to a cuff wrapped around the upper left arm. Diabetes, on the other hand, is screened by taking a blood sample, which is invasive, more costly, and requires a longer turnaround time for results. People who dislike needles may also avoid the procedure. It is hoped that through the equipment, however, screening for hypertension and diabetes will be carried out by screening an individual's retina for both simultaneously. Is they use artificial intelligence uh, to predict what, uh, uh, whether a person has any of these NCDs by looking at the, the retina. The machines are going to uh, institutions that are conducting this research, being Kemri, one, uh, Kenyatta National Hospital and the University of Nairobi together, and Aga Khan Hospital. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Rashid Aman says Kenya is looking to invest more in the war against non-communicable diseases. For a long time, it was not a problem for us. It has now emerged as a problem, which means we don't have those systems of collecting data that we used to collect, for example, for HIV or TB or malaria. Over the years, we have put in systems that correct very accurate data. Now, to use those systems, to now leverage on those systems so that we can collect more accurate data on NCDs. The donation by AstraZeneca is expected to go a long way in updating data on war against non-communicable diseases, as well as provide more efficient ways of combating the disease. Zainab Said, Prime Edition.